I want to thank everybody here tonight because uh, I've been more nervous going into this night than any other night in memory because of our prompt. And I would be tone deaf if I didn't acknowledge something that uh, our prompt was grocery stores. And I was up in Michigan and I was uh, removed from the news and didn't hear anything until Sunday morning. And I'd written this song on Tuesday. No idea what was ahead. And what happened up at Buffalo was just so, so dark and ugly and nothing paying any resemblance to what we do here every Monday. Uh, and I was ready to pull the plug, even get the word out. Maybe we ought to think twice about this grocery store prompt, thinking it might be insensitive. But you know something? Uh, Susan and Anders and everyone else who rose to the prompt just kind of gave me the intestinal fortitude to press on, because is there anything more cathartic than music? And uh, so I'm going to do this, and I'm not about to play anything tender at all. <laughs> and uh, Neil Young, I am not. When, when I, did you play tender? I, that's right. I play... Uh, I wrote this song uh, Tuesday, right after we came up with the prompt, and it all came about because Susan comes up here and starts talking to Rusty, singing with Maddie, and they're talking about the prices of flour in town. Who has the best deal, right? You remember that? And Rusty said, oh, you know who has the best deal? Whole Foods. And then you said, no, oh, Trader, Joe's. Trader Joe's, exactly. And you're going back and forth. And I made this quip to, to Justin in the back, and uh, he laughed, and I thought, wait a minute, that's a song. That's how it all starts. You know, you make a quip at someone, and we'll see where this goes. Uh, so... <laughs> I want to thank Justin for the inspiration and Susan and Rusty for the inspiration. I gave them credit for coming up for this prompt because I didn't want to take the blame. So, I like so here we go. I, I'm almost off book with this, but I'm a little, uh, I'm a little skittish about this. So we'll see how it goes. I tried it on my son today. He had gave me no reaction. So that's a good, that's a good thing. No, it, it was on Skype. But he's he's familiar with the green grocer. Tesco's in Sainsbury, or his go-to in Asda. He, he lives right next to a, a super Tesco. So here's to all grocery stores and the women who love them. No, that didn't work either, sorry. Well, okay, I've, I've already laid an egg. I haven't even started the first verse yet. Okay, quiet everybody, tender moment here. <clears throat> Last night I, on chat, I met a girl online, tried to describe myself. I said, just imagine your favorite grocery store and what's upon their shelf. Cause I'm swipe left at Whole Foods, but I'm food lying pretty. We have a sliding scale of attractiveness in this feast or famine city. Can't rub elbows with the jet set when the checkout's all fitting. I may be ugly at Whole Foods, but I'm food lying pretty. <laughs> I'm a clean up at aisle six. I'm a price check at register four. If the sign says under 10 items, then I'm the guy who will probably have more. On a good day, I'll return my card and others I'll slap in the door. With a dozen bags around my limbs for the rest of the day, I'm sore. Cause I'm swiped at, at Whole Foods, but I'm food lying pretty. The gentry don't shop where I shop, it's just a fact, it's not self-pity. Can't hang with the rich and famous when the checkout's overfitting. I may be ugly at Whole Foods, but I'm food lying pretty. I may be Harris Teeter poor, but I'm Aldi and little wealthy. Can't afford high-end organic stuff, but I do my best to keep healthy. Never clip the coupon in my whole life, I'm all about the unit price. And if the cashier laughs at my bad jokes, then I'll go back through her line twice. Cause I'm swipe man, dead whole foods, but I'm food lying pretty. Kroger and Giant are in between, so I've left them out of this ditty. The dainty shoppers find me droll, while the commoners think I'm witty. I may be ugly at Whole Foods, but I'm food lying pretty. I grew up with Safeway A&Ps and a couple of IGAs. They often have that funky smell when you cross their entryway. I pestered mom to buy me gum and candy in the checkout line. She roll her eyes at the bag boy and say, it's nearly supper time. Which meant no. <laughs> but today, I'm the one who pays the bill. And I describe myself this way. So tell me, mysterious girl online, what do you have to say? Is there a place in your heart and or cart for a discounted good like moi? But it appears this girl has just swiped left, so I guess her answer's nah. 
Time to swipe that their whole foods Time for lying pretty We have a sliding scale of attractiveness In this feast or famine city Can rub elbows with the jet set When the checkout's over fitty I may be ugly at Whole Foods But I'm through lying pretty I may be ugly at Whole Foods But I'm through lying pretty I'm through lying pretty I'm through lying pretty